So many wide receivers, but only so many positions can make this team. So what all has been going on with this wide receiver group? Had a chance to talk with Ricky Pro to get his feedback on what it's been like to coach these guys and who has been a surprise so far this minicamp season. What's it been like having so many guys this year? Um, it's awesome because um, it's anytime you got a lot of talent in your room, it, it, it competition, it breeds competition. And, and uh, these guys are out here getting better because they know they're competing for a job. And, and uh, you know, I look at Ted Ginn, and this is the first time in several years that he's playing on the same team in the same offense. He's got that that confidence about him too, the way he's running his routes, the way he's catching the football. He's become a leader in our room, and um, it's refreshing. I, you know, I'm happy for him. It's the same thing with Bird. You know, you look at Demir Bird, who's on the practice squad last year and worked his tail off, and, and he's another kid who's who's making a lot of noise in uh, minicamp and OTAs. Under the radar guys or surprises from your rookies or maybe even a second year guy, what you see? Um, Demir Bird, for sure. Demir is just, He's turned it up, and, and he's he's shown not only is he a guy with great speed, he uh, he runs great routes, and he's got good hands, he's got a great feel for what we're trying to do. You feel like it's fair to have some comparisons right now with Devin and Kelvin? Um, I think they're uh, they're similar players that they're 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 tall players, but I think if Devin can get to where he's physical or as physical as Kelvin, it's going to. It's going to make him a better football player. Um, and I think that's the thing with Devin. He's still learning the game. He's still learning and understanding different coverages, how to, how to use his body to screen guys off. And that's where Kelvin, to me, from day one, made him exceptional. You see more guys standing out and doing more? Well, um, last year they all did. I mean, it's a tight group. They push one another. They support each other. And that's what, for me, it, it's as an old school guy, you just didn't see that. You know, when I was playing, guys were, it was, a lot of times, it wasn't every man for himself, but, you know, you had your core guys and you stuck together, and then everybody else, it was, they're, they're on their own. Mm -hmm. This team, man, it, it, we got a special room where Philly's helping these young guys, he's helping the rookies, Devin does the same thing, Teddy, they all help each other, because ultimately it comes down to their confidence. They're confident in their ability, they know what they can do and how they can perform but they're going to bring these young guys along to teach them what guys taught them when they were coming up. So appreciate you guys watching. As always, I invite you to leave comments below. If you like the video, please press the like button and also subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with Carolina Panthers news. This is Chris Jenkins for charlottevibe.com.